Benjamin Zephania, a respected poet and activist from the United Kingdom, passed suddenly at the age of 65. Sadly, the dub poet and author of multiple volumes, including Talking Turkeys, passed away as a result of a brain tumor. The death has occurred of Benjamin Zephania, a British poet who was 65 years old. The subject of governmental injustice was frequently addressed in his poems. Zephania went away in the early hours of Thursday morning, according to a note that was posted on his Instagram profile. He had been diagnosed with a brain tumor eight weeks before to his passing. Benjamin's wife stayed by his side throughout his entire life, and she was there with him when he passed away, according to the message. Due to the fact that we shared him with the entire globe, we are aware that this news would cause a great number of individuals to be shocked and shaken to their core. Benjamin made a significant contribution to the world. He was a pioneer and an innovator of remarkable achievement. In the course of his remarkable career, which encompassed a great body of work in the fields of poetry, literature, music, television, and radio, Benjamin leaves behind a legacy that is both joyful and amazing. From the perspective of Zephania, the neighborhood of Handsworth in Birmingham, where he was born, was a cold suburb of Kingston, Jamaica. It was in April of 1958 when he was born. During the early stages of his adolescence, he began performing poetry readings in the community. At the age of 14, he decided to stop attending school. His first collection, titled Pen Rhythm, was issued in 1979, following his relocation to London of the same year. From that point on, he began participating in protests and street performances alongside youth activities and police stations. Not only did I participate in protests against apartheid, but I also participated in protests against racism. He made the following statement in the year 2019. We live in a multicultural society, but the institutions need to catch up. His poems typically confronted historical and modern challenges head-on in their subject matter. A number of the poems that were included in his second collection of poetry, titled The Dread Affair, which was published in 1985, were critical of the judicial system in the United Kingdom. His travelogue and poetry were included in the book titled Rasta Time in Palestine, which he published in 1990 after he had traveled to locations that were under Palestinian occupation. Through the publication of what Stephen Lawrence has taught us in 1999, he made a contribution to the investigation into the murder of a young man from South East London who was 18 years old. Due to the significant Jamaican musical and poetic influences that were present in his work, he was frequently referred to as a dub poet. In addition, he released a number of CDs and was the first member of the Whalers to create a Nelson Mandela Memorial album at the time when Bob Marley was still alive. Mandela, who was incarcerated at the time, attended the memorial service and subsequently made a request to meet Zephania. Mandela made a request to Zephania to provide the hosting duties for a performance that was held in his honor at the Royal Albert Hall in the year 1996. During the 1990s, he released a greater number of collections, including Schools Out, Poems Not for School, In a Liverpool, and Talking Turkeys, among others. His publishing activity significantly rose during this decade. In addition to this, he concentrated his achievements in regions outside than Europe. Zephania did not accept his OBE in the year 2003. Who am I? The thought occurred to me. Obey me. According to what he wrote in The Guardian, I thought it was up to you. The word empire makes me angry because it conjures up images of slavery, thousands of years of brutality, and the rape and brutalization of my forefathers and foremothers. He is the author of a number of other works, including Refugee Kid, which was about political asylum, and Face, which was about a young child who was involved in an accident and acquired facial injuries. Benjamin Zephania's autobiography, titled The Life and Rhymes of Benjamin Zephania, was published just in time for his 61st birthday.